summer, we all have those go to outfits that make us feel our best while having fun in the sun. But with summer activities comes the inevitable stains and we want to keep our favorite clothes looking fresh. So Jennifer Rivera is coming clean with some fabric care tips. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you so much for having me. So you're an expert in the science of laundry detergent formulation. How do I care for my favorite clothes so I can wear them on repeat all summer long? Yeah, I mean, so we all have those favorite garments that make us feel confident or bring back a memory that from the first time you wore it. It's important to all of us that those memories and that confidence doesn't fade over time. So what I would recommend doing is looking for a detergent that contains fabric care ingredients that help preserve colors and quality. As the official detergent of outfit repeating, personal laundry detergent features a formula that cleans fabrics into its fibers so you can confidently wear your favorite outfits on repeat. What you're going to want to also do with those favorite garments is turn them inside out before you put them in the washing machine. In the washing machine, there's some friction that can happen, and you're going to want that friction to happen on the inside of your garment instead of the outside of your garment. Also, there's the difference between summer and winter months that people store their clothing in different places. So you're always going to want to make sure you store it in a cool, dry place instead of a moist area where, you know, some mold and mildew can create some odors over time. Well, that's good to know. So give us a tip for getting out a tough summer stain, like ice cream. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's summertime, like you said, and we're all eating ice cream, so it's a common one. What you're going to want to do is first, of course, take a paper towel and wipe off any excess stain that's there. And then if you can, run it under cold water as soon as possible. But when you get home, you're going to want to pre-treat it with a formula like Personal Advanced Clean. When we worked on that formula in the lab, we actually added stain-fighting enzymes and odor-fighting technology to really make sure that that stain is going to be fought at the best possibility. So after pre-treating, you're going to throw it in the washing machine with the rest of your clothing. But before drying, you always want to check to make sure that stain was removed because drying is only going to set it in further. So if, if you still see a little bit of it left, you're going to want to just repeat the cycle of pre-treating and washing before putting it in the dryer. Oh, I love this. Now, any suggestions for cleaning active wear? I wear that on repeat. Yes, a lot of people are really into the active wear trends. And uh, I think what happens is a lot of sweat and body oil can get into those fabrics. And you know, the last thing you want is your favorite athletic tank top getting some odors or stains over time. So what we formulated is a personal active wear clean. So this formula was designed specifically to fight body oil and sweat on these active wear type fabrics. But it also works on your other fabrics for uh, cleaning as well. And this also will help maintain that fabric shape and stretch that you love about this active wear type material. So if you have a stain though, you're gonna wanna pre-treat as well with the active wear clean because that's gonna help better to clean that stain off. And then what's really important about these garments is to make sure you pay attention to the drying instructions on the garment label. Sometimes these fabrics are you know, prone to high heat so they prefer for either air drying or drying on a lower temperature setting. Thank you for that tip. And I'm nervous to wash my favorite summer outfit because I don't want the color to fade. What are things to avoid when washing clothes? Yeah, we're all worried about that one, right? I, I think uh, you have your favorite piece and you're almost afraid to wash it. But actually, the big culprit of why that might happen is that you're, you're not measuring the liquid detergent appropriately and you might be adding a little bit too much or too little. So what I would recommend doing is using a pre-measured formula like Persil Ultra Packs to ensure you're using an appropriate amount of detergent for your load. Also, if you're air drying it, I would recommend doing that indoors. What people don't realize also is that if you dry your clothes outdoors, there's the UV from the sun can actually fade your colors over time. Definitely needed that tip. My summer is busy. How can I make laundry day more efficient? Yeah, I mean, in the summertime, the last thing we want to do is spend all day in the laundry room. So. Um, what I would recommend doing is using a pre-measured formula. So Persil Ultra Packs are single-use laundry detergent packs that are designed to make laundry more convenient. These feature a new two-chamber formula which has been redesigned for quicker dissolvability and it now comes in a more sustainable packaging. The other tip you can do is actually get multiple hampers so you're actually sorting as you go instead of waiting for that laundry day to, to sort and do your laundry. And then you can also pre-plan your laundry days. So if you have an outfit that you know you want to wear to a certain event, just pre-plan it so that you know you make the most efficient use out of your time. Wonderful. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, so for more laundry information, you can always go to personallaundry.com. Jennifer, all great tips. Thank you so much. Thank you.